An off-duty nurse rushing to the aid of a dying driver has become the victim of a heartless crime. Veronica Webster was helping at the scene of a horror fatality near Benalla when her credit cards were stolen from her car. When Veronica Webster came across the horrific fatality which left a 39-year-old Craigie Byrne woman dead, she did what comes naturally. My immediate thought was just to get across and see if I could help in any way. Um, so I just grabbed my keys and a torch out of my car. But while she was helping the victims, someone broke into her car. To take advantage of someone else that's trying to help and to help themselves to my private belongings in my car is just... It's despicable. Such a disgusting act that uh, a member of a community is out there helping someone in their time of need and that at that time they are themselves are the victims of uh, such a lowly crime. Other cars may have been targeted. I checked my purse and realised my credit cards had been stolen and they'd been stolen at the scene. Benalla Police is urging anyone at the scene who might have dash cam footage or been witness to any suspicious behaviour to contact the station or Crime Stoppers. It's something that uh, we can't thank that off-duty nurse enough for pulling up and helping out uh, somebody in such a way. And I would be most appreciative of it if it was myself or my family or my friends, as would every other member of the community. The other driver involved in the crash remains in the Alfred Hospital in a stable condition. Sarah Jones, Win News. Two men have been stabbed during a vicious road rage attack near Wangaratta. Both drivers were hospitalised with stab wounds, but the incident has only just been reported to police. Police are urgently seeking witnesses to the violent assault which happened on the Hume Freeway just before Christmas. It's understood the drivers of a silver Ford sedan and a blue Kia Sportage wagon became involved in an altercation following a road rage attack near the Great Alpine Overpass on December the 23rd around 11 in the morning. One particular male spent uh, several days in hospital and the other one just uh, received some treatment for minor injuries. But uh, needless to say that having anyone go to hospital for injuries as a result of a fight is uh, not a good thing. The two men, aged 45 and 48, both suffered stab wounds and needed to be hospitalised. But police weren't notified until days later. Very busy time on the road, uh, on the roads, especially that time of year. And, um, you know, people got other things in mind, like Christmas. I don't need to be seeing these sort of instances. The men have been interviewed and released pending further inquiries. A grandfather bashed in a Melbourne pub urges his attackers to hand themselves in. Regional Sudanese leaders fear the media firestorm and political jousting over South Sudanese crime in Melbourne could damage African communities in regional Victoria. Akia Shan says a deep-rooted approach is needed to tackle the problem. Youth crime in Melbourne is worrying regional communities of South Sudanese. Akia Shan says there's nowhere to hide. So everyone will see you like the young people, what they are doing, like the young people who offence or violence or doing bad things on the street. But it's not what we have as a whole community. We've had our shock. Now, what are our strategic responses? The community leader sees integration, too much freedom and a disconnect between Australian and South Sudanese culture as the root cause. The pattern has been tied, the hand has been tied because of Australia culture. So we never allowed them to discipline this young kid. When Mr Shan first came to Australia, he felt isolated in the capital cities, but found a welcoming community in the regions. In a place like Melbourne or Sydney, communities live within other communities of migrants rather than essentially Australian-born communities. To integrate too, that is very important because if you isolated yourself, it's very difficult, you know, to learn a lot of things, bad things, good things. Understanding their history is key to winning their future. We came here because a problem happened over there, a war and we come to study the new life here. So they need to understand that one. Tyrone Kennedy, Win News.